I look so crazy right now, but ignore that. We're gonna solve this mess out in a couple of minutes. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a brand new video. As you can tell by the title, it is on this 35 pounds or like 30 pounds. I'm not really sure. It's a blonde wig. And oh, let's 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 like let's talk about it, okay? I have tried like 100 pounds wigs, wigs before and they were all synthetic and I've never tried a human hair wig. I do have human hair like extensions, like real hair, but I've um, never tried a wig because first of all, I can't afford it, I can't afford it, I can't afford it, I can't afford it, I can't afford it. And they cost around like 500 pounds to 1,000 pounds to 2,000 pounds. I've seen some for like 4,000 pounds and I'm like, I get it, like hair is expensive, but cannot afford that. I'm gonna sort out this hair. Give me two seconds. I need to buy a, I need to find a hairbrush. I'm just gonna like brush my hair. Yeah, I'm just gonna brush my hair out so we can try on the wig. I haven't even shown you what the wig looks like, but just let me get this thing out of the way. So I got this wig from Amazon, as I already said, and it came in this package says it's called Alice I'll link it down below by the way like I'll link I will link everything down below and yeah this is this wig is called Alice and it's a lace hair um it's from China that's about it and yeah you can recycle this box so it's really good I don't know why but synthetic wigs just get tangled so easily and it's so hard to get the knots out so this is what the wig looks like it got a bit tangly but it's a super straight wig um it's got lace front right here that looks so natural right 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 like show you this look at how insane that hairline looks it looks like like a real human hair wig so i'm gonna like show you how i am going to install it on me and also how i like to cut the wig make it look as natural as possible i'm not an expert on this i have done this a couple of times but it's not been like perfect so it's not gonna be perfect I'm, I'm not a hair stylist um but i'm just gonna try it and then show you some tricks that i do to make it look as natural as possible and yeah we are gonna go right into it so the glue i like to use is got to be glue oh my god mine's like so trashed up when i was doing shoots i used this up so much but like this is the got to be glue by swarf swarf i have no idea how to say it but you know what I'm talking about. So moving on to capping my hair. What I like to do is just, you know, tie a knot on my hair. And then why is there a stupid thing? I look so silly right now. Do not take a screenshot. Do not. And then just put it all over the front parts of my hair. I'm hoping this wig turns out really well because I want to take some bomb ass selfies. For a while, I've been thinking about turning blonde for a while, but like I've never, I haven't like had the chance to, you know, sit down and actually like be like, okay, this is what I want because going blonde is such a big thing. It can ruin your whole head. Um, it can ruin just every, like every strand of hair, it can be ruined. So it's really risky for like someone who has black hair and always just had black hair to just go blonde just like that um so yeah i've just i've been thinking about it but i just never had the guts to do it so this glue is just like gonna sit there we're not gonna do anything with it we're just gonna let it set so that all the baby hair is out of the way and what i do like to do is i like to take like a spoolie from my like eyebrow brush make sure just everything is just brushed away from my face and for the hair, it looks pretty good. Like the hairline I showed you, it looks really good. So I'm not going to pluck it. Um, all I'm simply going to do is cut around the lace so it fits my scalp. Um, so all the extra lace that's like around here, I'm just going to cut it with scissors. So there is a lot of like, you know, this type of hair, um, this type of hair, this type of like um, clothing at the back. That means you cannot put this wig up in a bun or whatever. So you can see all of that from the back. Um, but yeah, like it has a, like literally a limited amount of space in the front where like the wig is hand sewn on. Um, so I guess that's probably why the wig is so cheap. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to see how well it works today. And yeah, we'll just gonna put this on right now as you can see like when you put it down it literally looks like it's my own hair 
but I just look super crazy right now. <laughs> kind of blend in with the background. Um, as you can see, if I clip that down, it literally looks like my real hair. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to put that back a little bit. Then I'm going to add more glue onto my hair, um, like the hairline here. So take more glue, apply it uh, a very generous amount all over your scalp so that your wig stays on place. Typically right now people do put on like, oh my god it's like going everywhere. Right now usually people like um, apply the hair dryer and then make the glue tacky. I'm just gonna wait for it to get tacky because I can't be bothered getting a hair extension, I mean hair dryer from the other room. The glue is sort of tacky, I'm just gonna place the wig right on top, fix it at the sides. I'm gonna press the sides so that it is glued on pretty firmly. I think at this stage people do like to apply those like ribbon ribbons um, to make sure that the hair is intact so it doesn't come off. So this is what the wig looks like when it's all glued on. Um, so I am going to take little parts of the front um, to section it off so I can get a little bit of baby hairs. Um, the parting kind of looks a bit weird. So what we're going to do is section it off a bit further up and then we're going to take a little bit of foundation and here I'm using the CYO foundation and what I'm going to do is take a tiny mini brush. I'm taking this lip brush and then what I'm going to do is draw on a fake hairline if that makes sense. But this one it's a bit hard because it is a blonde wig and not a black wig but that should do um but yeah there's a lot of hair like literally so much hair is in this wig i thought it would be quite thin because it is quite like straight this wig is literally so long i cannot handle it but yeah what do you guys think of this look um does, do you think it suits me I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I feel like maybe it's a bit too blonde. If it had like dark roots here, but then I don't know. Um, but the color is so good, it's so gorgeous. Maybe my, like my eyebrows are a bit too dark. I'm gonna do lighter eyebrows and I'll be right back. This is like me zoomed in and look how amazing this hairline is. You cannot like really tell Apart from a little bit of my black hair is showing because my wig is coming off. Oops. Um, but like... I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it somewhat helpful. But yeah, if you guys want me to review more Amazon wigs, I'm all here for it. I really want to buy more of these kind of wigs that look natural. Don't forget to subscribe guys and also hit that little notification bell button if you want to know when I upload and all that jazz. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm just gonna go now. Bye!